Every time you embark in a new adventure, you never come back the same way. That's what I'm looking for, being different, being a better human being. My full name is Eduardo Francisco Diaz Gutierrez Almaguer. I'm from Monterrey, Mexico. Eduardo is fine. I, uh, I think it's attractive. <laughs> My whole life I've always wanted to ride since I was a little kid. It's been a lifelong dream. I think I was thinking, that looks badass. I'm going to meet Eduardo today at Kane's Harley Davidson in Calgary. I knew right away we were going to get along and have a lot of fun. I think the, the best way to know someone is riding with them. We're heading out west of Calgary on the Trans-Canada. It's a really beautiful drive. I can't wait for Eduardo to see the mountains. He's arranged for us to go meet a Catholic priest. I normally like to do a, a small prayer before a long trip. I'm always open to new customs and traditions. We don't have too many traditions, riding tradition in Mexico, but one really popular one is the Helmet's Blessing. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. If the mood is right and other riders want to do it, I, want, uh, I, like, to, I would like them to join with me. Dear Lord, we know that you are with Joanne and Eduardo as they go on their adventures, driving these wonderful looking bikes. Amen. So I'm gonna get a little holy water. Excellent. This is the water I boiled the hell out of. <laughs> oh, perfect. Yes. Yes. The important thing is like, we all take our helmets to the priest and we go to the mass and then after that we do a little blessing of the bikes and the riders, motorcycles, protect, you know, like give our thanks to be able to ride for the beautiful days and good company. Thank you, no, that was awesome. Welcome. I think the whole experience of being on a motorcycle in the Rockies, like your senses are very heightened. You get to smell the smells, breathe the air, like feel the road and like you really feel the presence of nature. I don't think there's anything quite like the Canadian Rockies. We're gonna meet up with some members of the hog chapter that is local to Calgary to give Eduardo a little bit of insight to uh, what it's like to ride in the mountains. Every motorcyclist dream is to come to Calgary, go to Banff, Lake Louise, uh, up the Columbia Ice Fields, ride the Rockies. I have never ridden snow or anything like that, but what would you recommend, like how you keep moving forward? To... No, no, you... it's not, you stop. No? You stop. <laughs> <laughs> Diane was really awesome. Her and her whole group, they were a really awesome group of people and they just really welcomed us. I totally enjoyed that ride and, and heard stories. I think that's the best important thing you can get from anywhere. Slow down a bit, feel comfortable. John, I just need to join me on the on the tour. Oh, oh thanks. Oh, 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 go. I felt like, okay, I'm getting all these, these emotions. I want to just pull over and let my, my eyes have an orgasm of this magnificent view. I thought it would be interesting to go for a little hike, get some exercise, do some Rocky Mountain sightseeing. Really nice. We actually had a snowball fight on our way up too, which was pretty fun. I don't think Eduardo has ever had a snowball fight before, so I made sure to make the first hit on that one. I just wanted to um, share a little bit with Eduardo this afternoon about my brother passing away. That happened 13 years ago and it was, we spent a lot of time together growing up in Jasper. Um, and I'd heard that Eduardo had had a similar experience, so I thought we might be able to find some common ground there. He always really wanted to ride motorcycles and so, uh, kind of something that I, that's like another really important uh, reason why I ride. Well, in my family, we are uh, four siblings, you know? So uh, it's two, two sisters and two brothers, but my brother also passed away, but when we were really young, you know? So I wasn't able to bond too much, but li living all those good experiences and always like remembering them, you know, I think uh, as long as they, they live inside you, you are like, with them, you know? So I think about him a lot when I ride, and especially out in the mountains, he loved to be out here. Um, and it's just very meaningful for me to, to have that experience and, totally. and uh, kind of carry him along with me, I guess, when I'm doing it. Yeah. We talk about how important family is for us, 
how they inspired us to do some things and to get better at other things. The Parks Highway is really beautiful. It joins Banff up to Jasper. The weather can be very variable in that area. So today we were looking outside, it had rained a little bit, but it looked clear. So we we're like, hey, let's just get on our bikes. No rain here, see how it goes. <laughs> that was a mistake. <laughs> there is officially water seeping into my boots. Yeah, whoa, no. We f***ed up. Yep. Yeah. I have a, a pool party on my boots and everyone was invited. We got drenched. I think we were pouring water out of our boots and we were freezing. My hands have never been so cold riding in the Rockies. I think that while you're riding, it always comes to reaching your limits and then breaking them and establishing new limits. So I think this one was a, a really large limit that I established because thanks to Johanna, really inspired me and gave me like the motivation to keep forward and later on they can laugh about my ass. Good morning, Alberta. We're heading up to meet up with some folks from the Jasper Motorcycle Tours Company. It's the bucket list group, the 55 to 85, 90 year old. Yeah. People who've never been on a bike before, they get fully dressed in leathers, they get out in the bike and they just tears in their eyes. They see uh -huh. animals and you know, our, our scenery is phenomenal here. Well, yeah, it here. seems like a lot of yeah. what we've been talking about is just yeah. how like you can really experience yeah. nature and experience yeah. the elements when you're yeah. riding. Oh, so yeah. that's awesome that you get to yeah. showcase that. Yeah. Do we get to go for a little ride? I think we should ride. Yeah, yeah. I think we should ride too. Do it, yeah. It doesn't matter your nationality, your skin color, your sexual preferences, whatever. Like, as long as you like to ride and you are a kind person, that's the only thing you need to do to be part of this larger family that we have. There's even two little girls that like to ride in the sidecars that came out today. Do you think you want to ride your own Harley when you're older? Yeah. What about, what about you? I definitely do. No. <laughs> She's hooked already. You gotta start them young. So yeah. good job. We've created an animal. <laughs> <laughs> the plan is today to head out of the mountains, out of the Rockies. The road was amazing. We got the opportunity to see some lakes and also to see the last mountain chains of that area. I think I'm really going to miss this mountain. Yeah, me too. We plan to stop at a place called the Silver Spur Saloon in a little town called Wildwood. I think that's the most biker bar I have ever been in my life, you know, because it's actually like a saloon, you know, there's gambling, pool tables, drinks, and really nice folks to talk to. This is Hi. Johanna. Hi. 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 Yeah, awesome. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. Cindy. I know Cindy. Cindy was my school bus driver when I was Look at when that. I was, um, Get out. I ran into um, my school bus driver who drove my school bus when I was a little kid. Yeah. Honestly? Yeah, and I, and I went She kind of grew up. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Because I was never going to grow up. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. As they say in, back in Mexico, no. We are the ones who get old. You stay, you stay the same. <laughs> same age. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> to my surprise, we got an amazing welcome from her and some of her friends, and just kind of give us a really good, like, small town Alberta biker bar feeling. 
I can be in my own little world. I can just, you, you're just existing, you know? All your cares just seem to shoot, fly away. I, I mean, still, how many years has it been since I've passed away? I'm, yeah. I'm sure that there's still days that that, that affects you and the way you deal with, with your life. And, and, I, and I bet there's days when you've gotten on your bike and your cares just blow away in the wind, Yeah. you know? And you've got your own little headspace and your own thoughts and there's not a well, it's soul. Just therapeutic. Yeah. Cindy had some really touching things to say about how it's a really great tool in her life to just get on and ride and let all your problems kind of fall away. And it's just you and your bike and you just find a new sense of calm. <laughs> So I got the opportunity to meet the the owner of the bar, and he he ha, he has a chopper, totally custom, gorgeous bike, and he actually invited me to to ride it. If they ask me what what will be one of the things that I will do here in Canada, I would never imagine that I would be, ride, be riding a chopper. Ay, cabrón. I was accepting the, the challenge, you know, accepting the adventure. And then wh while I was riding, I was like, okay, don't, don't mess up with this. Don't mess up, don't mess up, please. Oh, they found a friend. I would expect nothing less from Eduardo. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, that's good. Wow, yeah. You, it looks good on you. Yeah, oh, thank you. Yeah, it's cool. Amazing. <laughs> How kind you are is the example of how can Canada is, you know? It's kind it's people, great. crazy, stun stunning, yeah. and amazing, yeah, really. Yeah, Thank you very much for everything, really. No problem. It was totally amazing. I don't like when you rest your helmet like that. What? It stresses me out. Thank you. Okay, Mom. We're gonna ride the rest of the way into Edmonton and meet up with a couple of my friends that I ride with through the Lita. So I'm very excited to see my friends today and have them meet Eduardo. That feels pretty good to be home. Oh, definitely. And I'm going to be home tomorrow, so. We came back to my garage, which is a common hangout space for myself and my friends. And we had a, an awesome barbecue and it was really cool and like a special time just for, for me to share like my new friend with my old friends. And yeah, it was great. The Litas is a global collective of women who ride motorcycles. It doesn't matter what you ride or what your background is or where you came from. We just want to create a really supportive environment and really build each other up instead of tear each other down. I really wanted Eduardo to see that because I know he's seen a bunch of different communities, but I think that ours is unique in its own way. We're all very close and we're very open. We're very silly and fun and a little bit wild. So I, I wanted him to get that experience. You know, it was really cold. Like I get the vibe like they were really open to me and I actually learn from them, you know? I, I think that's uh, something really, really important that I have been doing in this adventure. I actually think that when you get the opportunity to meet someone's friends, you can actually see a little bit of how that person is. I've known for a couple of days that uh, saying goodbye to Eduardo would probably be hard because I'm an emotional person. And I like really care about my friends and love my friends a lot, and he's included in that now, so I am feeling sad. Johanna, I'm really serious. If you can invite me next year to your rally, I will be honored to be here. You and also, can. whenever to, you want to come down to Mexico, you can totally stay in my place. We're coming. Roll, yeah. everyone. <laughs> yeah, totally. Kick ass a little bit, so. I have, I have no words. <laughs> no worries, just hug it up. <laughs> no words. Well, I feel a little bit emotional, you know, because uh, you want this journey to keep going, like living this moment forever. 